Welcome to Barefoot in America. Today we are filming from Yuma, Arizona. This is one of those hot spots in Arizona where it's triple digits in May through September, October. And we are out here about seven in the morning and it's already heating up. The sun is definitely intense, but so excited to be coming to you from Yuma. And today I wanna to just um, invite you to have a blanket and a strap and one of my students asked about, if I want to do a longer practice, what would you recommend pairing? So this video is going to be designed as a warm-up. We're going to do some pranayama, which is the breath work. We're going to do some heart opening, some really gentle warm-up. So if you're a beginner to yoga, this is great for you too. But if you wanted to do this before any of the active practices that we've created, it would be absolutely awesome. And if you like what you're seeing on Barefoot in America, please make a comment, share suggestions. Um, subscribe, share, like, all those good things. And we're gonna get started with sitting nice and tall, just taking a moment to get grounded in this moment. So sit on a blanket or a block. Take a moment to feel your hips root to the earth. Lengthen your spine. Let your hands just rest on your lap. And take a deep breath in. Let it out with a sigh. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> One more, just like that. <sighs> and now bring hands to heart center, palm to palm, right in front of your heart center. Sit tall and beautifully and take a moment to set an intention. I know that intentions are a little bit different than goals. Goals can be very concrete. They um, for sure are something that's measurable, whereas an intention is a little more vague. It's just this intention for someone else, for something as big as world peace, or an intention for yourself that's going to serve other people. So take a moment to set an intention, and as we all do so, we're just adding to the whole communication of the world. Let that intention come to you. And seal it with a few breaths. As you just pause and be with it. And my intention is that this practice will bring you more balance, more stillness, more joy in your life. Relax your hands to your lap. We're going to do Nadi Shodhana breath, which is alternate nostril breathing. And if you've never done it before, I'm going to talk you through it. You'll do great. And if you have done it before, um, you kind of know what's coming. But this is great for calming the nervous system, for helping us get really centered. And it balances because we're going to breathe alternating right and left nostril. So left hand stays on the lap. Right hand is going to be used for the thumb to press the right nostril to close it. And then usually I use my ring finger to compress the left nostril. So start by taking a big deep breath in. Exhale it completely. Close your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Close your left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right, close the right, exhale left, inhale left, close and exhale right, inhale right, close, exhale left, inhale left. You know the pattern, exhale right, continue at your own pace, inhaling right, 
exhale left. Two more rounds, pace yourself. Roughly one more round. And you'll end with a left exhale. Relax your hands, take a big deep breath in. Exhale completely out the nose. So that was seven rounds. You could do that for up to like five minutes as well. We're gonna take the blanket that we're sitting on, if you have a blanket or a foam roller, and you're gonna put it long ways and sit right in front of it. This is one choice, and this is gonna put a little lumbar lordosis in the back. And if you prefer, you could sit right on top of it so your sacrum's on it. I like to be in front, but find what works for you. If you're using a foam roller, you're definitely sitting on it. It would be too much lordosis, but with a blanket, this works. Go ahead and lie down. And just let your arms rest at your side, palms up. We're gonna take 10 deep breaths, doing bottle breathing. So as you inhale, feel your belly, ribs, chest expand. And as you exhale, chest, ribs, belly, draw back in. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, continue at your pace. Feel the subtle nuances of your breath as you just take the time breathing into your belly, ribs, chest, and exhaling chest, ribs, belly. Two more rounds. with your hands at your side. Now inhale, float them out to the side to a T. Pause right there, exhale. Take a moment to feel your arms. Reach out of the right fingertips, reach out of the left fingertips. Feel the elongation from the fingers of one hand to the fingers of the other hand and that we're growing out of this heart space. Reach nice and long, take a deep breath in. Exhale, rotate your head to the right. Inhale the head back to center. Exhale, rotate it left. Inhale it to center. Exhale right, rotation of the neck. Inhale center. And then exhale, rotating your head to the left. Exhale, center one more time each way. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. And remember when you used to make snow angel wings in the snow if you lived in a place with snow? Exhale your arms down by your side. And then imagine dragging your arms on the floor Inhaling them up to a comfortable range for you. Exhaling them down. Remember, it's not about how high. Inhale, let the breath guide you to a, an end point. And then exhale, let them drift back down. One more time. Inhale them all the way to your comfort. Exhale them back down. And then inhale them up one last time and hold it there. Maybe you end up in a V. Maybe you take it all the way to the top in a volcano. Feel the place for you and reach into that space. 
get expansive and pump your ankles up and down a few times just growing into the corners of the room or from the foot to the head of the mat and from here exhale give your legs a hug roll to your side so you can remove the blanket and come on up to seated and make your way to all fours hands and knees hands are going to go right under the shoulders knees right under the hips and take the time to spread your fingers wide creating a stretch in the hands helps to open the fascia in the hands and then tuck your toes inhale lift your head and tailbone for cow posture really let your shoulder blades melt down your back maybe a micro bend in your elbows feel this shape of cow tonify the low belly so it's not just sagging and take a breath in the shape of cow. Feel it changing as you hold it for a bit. And now feeling the shape of cat. Untuck the toes, pressing the hands. Arch it up, tuck the tummy, drop the head. Look at your navel. Keep pressing through the hands. Really lift, lift, lift and feel the shape of cat. And now linking movement to breath. Inhale to cow, tuck the toes, lift the head and heart, lift the sacrum. Exhale, untuck the toes, find cat, arch it up, tuck the tummy, look at the navel. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, and from here push back to child's Drop your seat to your heels. And now drop your elbows to the mat. Scoop it back up to cow for ruddy goose. Exhale to cat. Push back to child. Scoop it up to a cow. Exhale to cat. Back to child. And scoop it up to cow. Exhale to cat and child. And now hold child. And take a moment to tense your fingers. Some people say like there's a cupcake under your hands or an upside down teacup. Just think of tenting your fingers. And from here, really sit back to child's pose, melting your heart to the mat. Walk the fingers forward. Keep getting long with these tented fingers. Forehead to the mat. And if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, maybe you put a block there. Three deep breaths. <sighs> Wrap your hands around by your feet. Melt into a restorative child's pose. And then hands all the way behind your back. We're going to take Salabhasana seal. Inhale, float the arms up and overhead. Come to tall kneeling. Adjust the knees to where they're comfortable for you here. And then exhale, bow back down to child's hands. Come behind your back. Forehead to a block or the mat. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, melt back down to child. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, melt it back down. And last time, inhale, float it up. Exhale, hands to your hips, your buttock region. Stabilize your Low back right where it meets your hips. Tuck your toes. Inhale, lift your head and heart for camel. Exhale, back upright. Inhale, lift head and heart for camel. Exhale, back upright. And one more time. Inhale, come into camel. And exhale, upright. From here, we're going to keep take gatekeeper's posture. I'm turning just so you can see me. Hands on the hips. Take your left foot out to the side. Mm -hmm. And do your best to feel your pelvis square to the top of the mat. Pull the low belly in. Inhale, float your right arm up. Reach to the sky, discovering as much length as you can. And lean to your left. Feel that right side body stretch. Uh, 
Exhale the hand down to your hip. Bring your left leg underneath you. Send your right leg out to the side. With your right leg out to the side, again, pull in your belly. Do your best to keep your pelvis square. Float the left arm up to the sky. And lean to your right. And feel the left side body stretching and opening. There's this tendency to want to twist. Keep opening the heart. Belly pulls in to stabilize you. Exhale the left hand down. Bring the right knee right back under you. Bring your left knee forward. Sink into the left knee, hands on the thighs, pull the belly in, sweep the arms up. Just a bit of a hip extension. Exhale the arms to cactus. Lower them down and float them up one more time. Adding a bit of a twist, right hand to the left knee, left hand to the hip. Lengthen the spine, twist and look out over your left shoulder. Inhale the arms back up to center. Exhale, hands to hips. Transition your left leg back down by the right. Sweep your right foot forward. Hands on the knee, sink into it. Inhale, float the arms up. Sinking into the right knee, pressing through the top of the left foot. Pull the belly and lift the heart. Exhale to cactus. Lower the arms down, sweep them back up. Left hand finds the right knee, right hand finds the hip. Lengthen your spine, twist to your right. Look out over your shoulder. Inhale back to center. Take your right leg down to meet your left. And then have a seat and come and lie down on your back. Take that volcano stretch one more time. Exhale, hug the knees, hook the strap to the bottom of both feet and send both feet skyward. Just feel the L shape of your body. Hands slide down the strap so the elbows can rest by your waist to keep tension out of your shoulders. Sacrum roots to the earth, heels press to the sky. Taking the shape of the L. And then keep your left foot in the strap. Take the right foot out. Keep it straight and strong. Lower it down. Root it to the mat. Three deep breaths. Left hamstring stretch. Eyes with your hands. And then tonify the right leg, straight right leg lifts up, hooks back in the strap, left leg comes out, straight strong left leg lowers down to the mat, root it, take three deep breaths. And then a straight, strong left leg lifts and comes back up to the strap. Hook it in, take a breath. And then open your legs wide into a V. Maybe you wanna use your strap, maybe you don't. If you're using your strap, you can certainly press your feet into the strap. And if you're not using it, hold either your inner or outer thighs. Do your best to create straight knees, pressing your heels away, toes to your nose. Exhale, close the legs, bring the soles of the feet together in the air, knees flare out, Baddha Konasana in the air. Holding the ankles or the outside of the foot, take the soles of the feet to the ceiling for happy baby. Release the legs all the way down on the mat. And take the time to pause in Savasana. If you want to connect this with another practice, just go ahead and stop here and connect in with any other practice. And if you prefer, rest in Savasana as long as you like today. 
I thank you for joining me on the mat, wishing you abundance of joy, the ability to find stillness, and to live a balanced life. Namaste.